What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. At the end of my last video, I did say that I'm gonna be making a video on how to invest your money, and that's exactly what I'm gonna be getting into today, except it's gonna be how to invest your money in 2020, and how is that any different from 2019? And the answer is, there are things that actually constantly change, and there are things that you can hop on as far as trends and stuff like that that you can invest in and make money off of that, which I will be giving you guys examples on what to hop on, and also things that I do, because I do always get asked the question, what do you do? How do you make your money? And how do you constantly keep getting it? And I'm gonna be answering all those questions for you guys today. Anyways, moving on with the video, there is one rule that I ask you guys to follow when investing your money. And this is super important because if you guys don't, you guys are literally gonna give up on what you do. Well, you might not depending on how you are, but it just won't be entertaining for you and you won't be happy doing what you do. And that is to invest in something that you actually enjoy doing or something you have a passion for. So for example, something that I've been doing for many, many years is investing into sneakers. And as weird as it may sound, there's a huge market for this because the fashion industry is huge the simple way i used to make money off this is getting the pairs at retail and then flipping them however it is not that easy nowadays you have to get bots and programs and all this stuff to get them you have to know people it's honestly really difficult nowadays so what i do now is that i pay resale for the sneakers that i know are going to go up in value and then I wait a while and yes it does take some time I actually have done this for years and I've had sneakers that I bought two years ago three years ago four years ago and now they have a decent amount of value and even if I worn them I still have profit on them and this is what I do except for new pairs nowadays back in the day it's always for the older pairs and I make money off of this it's pretty simple you just got to know what to put your money in and it's like a stock market however it's for sneakers and by the way I forgot to mention if you guys got this far in the video and you guys are looking for stock information and how to invest in stocks and all that stuff that is not me that is not what the channel is about I know nothing about the stock market i might know a little bit here and there but it's really not my forte so that's why on this channel i speak about actual examples that i've done because i've learned from experience and i want to share those experiences with you guys that way you guys can learn from them and don't make the same mistakes that i do and that way you guys scale faster another example is that i'm a barber and i really love to cut hair i actually enjoy doing it i don't just go to work and cut hair for no reason I actually truly enjoy doing it and that's why I decided to start a business within this industry. And no, I'm not talking about owning a barber shop, I'm talking about a product in the barber industry which I will be selling and let's just say it's going to be a business where I get paid every single month from that client. So my advice to you guys would first off be to find out what you like, what you're in right now, maybe you enjoy doing it, maybe you work at a restaurant and maybe you can find some way to make it better. I've heard people talking about putting CBD into their food and opening up a business with that, which you guys can do, it's just examples that I'm giving you guys. But then another thing, it's also moving on to, not the second step, but it's basically like, okay. Yeah, he likes to do this sometimes. <laughs> Ah, so we got some company in this video. This is my monkey Yumi guys if you guys have not met him going back to what I was saying is Feasibility your idea has to be feasible So if you're gonna invest all this money make sure it's possible make sure you don't just get stuck somewhere So for example, I obviously do sneakers like I just said and I want to make a sneaker app There's already some out there However, this is gonna be a lot of money creating apps nowadays is very expensive and on top of that the way I want to make the app is very 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 technical and that's obviously gonna cost more money because the developers are gonna charge more for that I'm pretty sure anything can be done with apps nowadays. You just have to be able to make it happen and you have to have a developer that can do it. Another thing would be like maybe you need to break a technological barrier to do what you want to do because maybe it's in your mind that you can do it. So for example, which I know this is going to sound stupid, it's like making lightsabers, right? In order to make a lightsaber, a legit one that doesn't have a glass on side of it, like literally something that can cut through anything, you need to find a way to make that light stop. However, as of now, as far as I know, is there's no technology that can literally make a lightsaber come out like that and start just cutting things. Maybe there might be, I don't know, but I'm just saying that for an example of a technological barrier. So after you find a passion for something and you decide to get in that industry and create a product or a service for that industry, and you also found out that it's feasible, the next thing is obviously finding out your startup cost because every single business is gonna have this, even the ones that require no money, such as like, let's say drop shaving, a lot of people say it requires no money. It does require money, it's low cost. But for example, the barber business that I'm opening, it did require a lot of work as far as finding the products and then paying suppliers for these products which it's cost me literally just now I just talked to a supplier they're saying it's gonna cost me 1500 for initial order only for that one product and another product cost me a thousand and then the other products cost me a hundred and then the other products cost me around 150 so it's honestly just about figuring out what you need to pay and then you need to pay for the website and then you need to pay maybe for a virtual assistant once you get to a certain point but this is all things you find out as you go. I don't expect you to write this down. Maybe write down like an initial list of what you think is gonna cost you. And as you go on with creating this business, you're gonna find out more expenses throughout the way. And then you wanna calculate that in, so that way you can calculate your profits correctly. And last but not least, I know I haven't talked about 
having enough money to do any of this is because you can always get money. Money is actually one of the least things that are the problems for businesses. Honestly, the number one way businesses have grown and scaled like immensely, if that's even what I'm the word I'm looking for, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But you guys understand, like the way businesses have grown to be the way they are, such as like Apple, YouTube, and all these things, is due to timing because sometimes the best products are the ones that solve the problem. So Apple, they brought the iPhone when people didn't even know they needed an iPhone. Think if I'm not mistaken, they are the first company to start off with smartphones, if not they're one of the first. And YouTube, obviously, they came in after a certain time where videos could be uploaded faster to the internet and where they could be viewed faster. And Yahoo kind of failed because Google just came in at a right time. If you guys look into all these businesses and see how they grew or why they grew, it's because of timing, it's not because of money. So anyways, let's get back to the money aspect. The reason I said you don't need money is because you can always get money from anybody. You're not just gonna go to a random stranger and say, hey, can I get some money? No, it's not how it works. You can always ask family for money. You can always ask friends for money if they're willing to lend it to you. You can even give them a portion of your business, which is usually how it works when you have somebody lend you money or you just give them back the money. It all depends on how you wanna work out the deal. I personally recommend having your own money to start your business. This way you don't have to pay anybody back and you're only using your money and it's only your money at risk, which some people might disagree with me on this, but it all depends on what you're doing. So sometimes you might want to, you me. Ah, what's in there that you like so much? So for example, buying real estate, you're not gonna wanna go ahead and buy the whole house with your money. Let's say you have a $150,000 house and you pay $150,000. It's gonna take you a good amount of time to get that money back as far as equity goes and if you rent the property. So the best thing to do as far as real estate, don't mark my words for this, this is just, this is, uh, uh. Ah. So this is just the best way I've heard to buy real estate. Buy it for a price under market, pay a certain percent of the house, like 20%, 30%, get the loan for the rest of the amount, fix up the house a little bit, rent it out, have it refinance as well. That way the value goes up and that way you're gonna be getting the difference between the refinance and also the original loan, if that made any sense. But anyways, that's an example of using other people's money, which is the banks in this case, to leverage yourself and make you more money. But now times when you don't wanna risk other people's money is when you're not sure about your business. So let's say you open up a barber shop that it's in a bad area, you don't know how it's gonna do, but you think you're a great barber. You're not sure how it's really gonna operate and you're not sure how it's really gonna perform. So I wouldn't recommend using other people's money. I would just recommend to you to use your money and if it fails, you just lose your money and you make some money back from cutting your client's hair. And now finally, last but not least, moving on to the actual examples of things you guys can do in 2020 is start your own business like i said obviously everything that i just stated this is mainly for starting your business because that's the best thing you want to invest in because you can scale this to your potential and it's honestly the sky's the limit because you can always innovate new stuff as i'm doing with my business i literally am going to have zero competition i will announce it to you guys in january of next year because that's when i will be launching another thing i recommend you guys to invest your money in would be real estate because obviously Real estate should be going down in 2020 because there's supposed to be a recession. And when a recession hits, the market goes down for houses, which means the price is low, which you want to buy low. Hold on to them until the price goes up and then sell them high and then kind of just repeat the process. It's a lot more difficult than it sounds, but it's still a simple concept. And obviously, as you rent it out, everybody always needs somewhere to live. You're going to make money there and your equity is going to go up in the house which like I said, you're gonna sell it and make more money off of that. And another example, as far as technological things go, you can invest into drop shipping. It's honestly really cheap and it's really easy to start. And a lot of people say it's oversaturated, but those are the people that are scared and those are people saying that on ads, they're saying, oh, it's dead, this and that. Those are people that are just trying to sell you their course and they're trying to just kind of like brainwash you. Don't listen to those people. If you believe there's money to be made and you have like a good, you me, you're distracting me because I just lost my train of thought. Don't listen to people that give you negative input. Those are the people you don't want to listen to. I don't know how I'm still talking with this guy in my ear. <laughs> ah, that was, oh, you were in there. But another thing is also you can invest in stocks long-term. That's the best I know, probably like Amazon, Apple. Like I said, this video is not really much about stocks. I'm not good with that. Don't listen to me on that advice. But from what I've heard, those are the best places to put your money into if you're trying to go long term. You can also put your money into private labeling products and selling them on Amazon. That's one of the things that are popular nowadays and it's easy to do. You can even do something as simple as making a YouTube channel, buying products on Amazon and reviewing them. Because then you can make money through affiliate marketing, which actually does make great money, especially if your channel's solely based on that. And eventually when you get big in this field, you can ask bigger companies to review their products and get a commission for that. The amount of ways to make money nowadays is endless, guys. I'm telling you, all you guys gotta do is think of a problem, think of the solution, 
take action on that solution and then just keep scaling that. I know I'm making it sound so easy because it is that easy, but it's also gonna take work to start it up. My next video is actually gonna be about drop shipping. I'm actually going to be buying a course and I'm gonna be reviewing it for you guys. I'm gonna be telling you guys what I learned, what kind of content they have in there and what you can learn from it as well, if it's even worth buying. Because I know nowadays the market is flooded with courses. And as you guys can see, these people that are selling courses, the market is hella saturated, but people are still making their sales on it because people are always buying different courses. So all that oversaturated stuff, you can just throw those thoughts out the window. It's just people being scared. Don't be scared, guys. Take action to what you wanna do and subscribe to this channel and turn on your post notifications so you guys don't miss out when I drop that dropshipping video. And also, I will be showing you guys how I scale my dropshipping business as well as my barber business that I just told you guys about in this video. I will be showing you guys all that in this channel. Make sure to also like this video if you guys did enjoy. And if you happen to not enjoy this video or got no value out of it, go ahead and dislike it. Comment down below why so I know how to make this video better for everybody. You, me, where you at? Let's close it out. Anyways, guys, we'll see you guys on the next one. Come on. Good boy.